Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be revealing two brand new bags to my collection and they are both from Coach. I've been getting really into Coach and I actually am really pleasantly surprised with their quality. I have always kind of loved Coach from afar because my mom used to love Coach and that's kind of how I got into handbags but I never really bought a ton of things from coach it just never really was my style until now i would say so i'm gonna reveal two bags one of them is a new style for me and the other one spoiler alert is the coach cassie which i've talked about so much on my channel already so i'm gonna start with the bag that is brand new to me before I get into the video, I do just want to start by introducing myself. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Alyssa and I come on here and I do handbag reviews. So if you like handbags, you're definitely in the right place. So you should consider clicking that little subscribe button down below. I would love to have you join this little community here. And for those of you who are not new to my channel, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. That being said, let's get into the reviews. So the first bag that I'm going to be showing you and reviewing viewing is the Coach Alley 18. This is in the beautiful color block. This is the chalk color with the beige. I don't know the exact name of this taupe color, but it is so beautiful. I wish almost that they made an entire bag with this color in the alley. I think this is such a beautiful little piece. It really reminds me of like the Celine Box bag or the Dior Montaigne bag. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it really has some of the same features of each of those designer bags. And so I just had to have this. I love the horse and buggy detailing here and then the whole bag is just this really beautiful pebbled leather and the sides and the back are also that beautiful taupe color and then it has gold hardware everywhere so it has gold trim around the front buckle and then on the top where the crossbody strap comes in it has those two gold kind of bolts at the top and then it also has the adjustable crossbody strap which I love an adjustable strap this strap is really functional so I'll show you you can wear it crossbody or you can kind of pull these and you can pull them to your liking like however far you want them to go you can pull it into a shoulder bag which is really cute and I you can kind of play around with the placement of where the adjustment is but I think it looks so cute as a shoulder bag just kind of like right under your shoulder or you can wear a crossbody, which looks really adorable. So this is the smallest version of this bag. There is a larger size and it's just called the Coach Alley. I had a really hard time finding that one and I did really want it in black. However, I haven't been able to find it in the United States anywhere. But there are some people that are selling them pre-loved on like Mercari and things. But there are a lot of places that you can actually get this colorway brand new. So this bag retails for $495. I did buy this off of eBay. So I did not pay that, which I was happy about because this was brand new. And I was looking for the black one and then I came across this one and, you know, came with all of the tags, the dust bag, literally everything. It, it was as if it was brand new. So I was excited about that. It does have a magnetic closure, which is really nice. The inside of the bag is this beautiful deep burgundy color, which I think looks really pretty up against the white when you open it up. And then it does have a back pocket here which I don't think I would put anything in unless you just wanted to put like a credit card or something. And then it has this big open space. And then in the front, it's a little bit of a smaller compartment. So I think that this is going to be a really nice evening bag for me. I really like the way this looks crossbody. This is pretty small, but I will show you everything that I can fit in here. I have not worn this out in public yet. However, I have been really looking at the leather on this. And I will say it's a little bit different than my Coach Cassie leather. The leather on this is a little bit softer. And so I don't know if this is going to hold up as well as my Coach Cassie. The chalk leather on here is very, very soft. And when you look up close, I don't know if you're able to see it, but you can kind of see the cracks in between the leather a little bit better. 
and it does kind of look like there's some potential for it to either get dirty or kind of lose that beautiful white color if that makes sense so i think that this will be a bag that i'm very careful with so far from what i can tell i think the craftsmanship is beautiful i think the quality is really really nice just by feeling it it doesn't feel like it will lose its structure at all it is very structured at the base which i think is really really nice and i love the overall look of this bag it's very minimalistic it has that accent of the color block that i think makes it kind of a step up so really like this bag so far as a first impression i'm going to show you everything that fits in here so this is the first time that i'm doing this we will test it and see how much i can actually get in here so i'm going to start with putting in my phone so this is my phone case i have the iphone 12 pro and i'm just going to slide it in the back pocket just to show you it does fully fit as far as like horizontally if you did it vertically, it would be too tall, just for reference. So I'm gonna put it in here horizontally. And then in front of that, I'm gonna put in my Gucci wallet. And this also fits in here perfectly. So as you can see, just like that. And then I'm gonna put in my keys, which there are a lot. So that also fits in there perfectly. And then I'm gonna put in my Glossier lipstick, just on the side there. So that looks pretty compact in that big pocket. So I would not really be able to fit too much more. For reference, I would not be able to fit my sunglasses case in here. That would be too big. I'm gonna try to fit a lip gloss. This is from Milani. And that does fit on the other side. And then I think I could fit something thin in the front, like if I had like, a key holder or something I could probably fit that up here but I'm gonna try my phone up there to see if that fits so it fits but it's a little bit tight like I don't know if it would really be practical it does close so all of that does fit perfectly but I don't think I would put my phone in that front pocket because it is a little bit too tight so without my phone in there I would put a mascara, which I can lay in there. And let's try a concealer just for fun, just in case you were going out and you wanted extra makeup. So that does all fit in there. If I didn't have my keys, I could fit maybe a pochette or let's see. If I take my keys out, that leaves so much more room. So you could put like some SLGs in there. I think this would be a really perfect going out bag because it really just fits the essentials. You definitely cannot overstuff this. It's very compact where it gives you a lot of pushback if you're trying to add too much into it where it just it doesn't stretch very much if you could see that there when i was putting my phone in it was really kind of hard to get it into that front pocket so i wouldn't say that this is super stretchy by any means it has this really great closure um, so it's very secure and i don't think i showed you it says coach up here and then it also has this little you know the coach tag which I, I don't love, but that it, it is also on the bag. So overall, I would say this bag, first impression, I am giving it a 10 out of 10. I don't see anything wrong with it, to be honest with you. I think this is a really, really good bag. I think my rating could go down if I were to wear it and the white leather started to kind of come off or get scuffed or anything, but I think the craftsmanship is really beautiful and the look of the bag is so luxurious in my opinion. I love the square details of everything. I just think it is so beautiful and understated and it doesn't scream coach to me either, which I like. I like that kind of minimal, you don't kind of know what she's wearing type of thing. And I love the versatility. I think everything about this bag is really wonderful. I would get this in the black color if I could find it in the larger size. I'd be interested to see how much you can fit in the bigger size compared to this one. This is pretty tiny, so like I said, this will probably be an evening bag for me, but you could wear this every day. I just am a little bit worried about the white leather on this one because it doesn't feel as grainy or as durable as the one on the Coach Cassie. That's just my observation, 
But speaking of the Coach Cassie, I'm going to show you that bag now. So I did get a new Coach Cassie and they're discontinuing the bag if you don't know. As soon as I heard that, I knew I wanted to get another one just because I feel like they're going to go up in price on the pre-loved market for sure. It's definitely going to skyrocket and I want to be able to get the bag for the price that it's worth. And also, I think it's such a great bag that I had been wanting to add another one into my collection anyway. I just really wasn't sure what color. So I ended up being too late to buy this bag brand new from Saks. They had taken it off their website and from Coach. It wasn't on there either. So I ended up finding this bag on eBay and I got it for a great price. It is pre-owned, but there's nothing wrong with it. It is in beautiful condition. So I got the Coach Cassie in the Oxblood and Gold color. I love this colorway. I definitely could not resist. I love this color for fall, winter, maybe even spring. But this is such a classic color. So I'll show you up close. It, it does look a little bit worn because I don't have anything in it, but I think once I stuff it, it'll, it'll look, you know, good as new. But so it does have the beautiful pebbled leather. And again, I do have a full review on this, multiple reviews on this. Um, but just to kind of show you it in this colorway, I think it is so beautiful with the gold. And this color is like a plum kind of maroon it's not super burgundy like it's not super red to me it's more plum and i don't know how it's going to come up in the camera but it's like a beautiful deep wine plum color that would be the best way that i could describe it and this color goes with black it goes with beige it goes with white it goes with brown i mean it literally goes with everything and I love this color. I'll show you the interior on this one. It is this red color and I do like it together. I think it looks pretty nice. I have the dust bag back here. So I did get this pre-owned, but honestly it was in perfect condition. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this bag. And for anyone that is looking for this bag, I would highly highly recommend that you get this off the pre-loved market or brand new if you can find it anywhere. Right now, I think Coach's website only has the chalk color left, which is the one I have in my collection and I love it. It is beautiful for spring and summer, but this is definitely going to be my fall work bag for sure. Winter, I love this. This is such a functional bag and I did order a little twilly to put on top. I love to do that on the top handle here. Overall, I'm just going to say if this is your first time watching a video on the Coach Cassie, this bag is perfect. It has everything you could possibly imagine as a good feature on a bag. The back pocket is and essential for me at this point. I love the back pocket for my phone. I love that it has the adjustable shoulder strap, the top handle. Everything is just so functional. It's business casual, but can also kind of be dressed up. So this is my favorite coach bag by far. I would highly recommend the Cassie and I am sad that they're discontinuing it. I know that they're coming out with a different version, but to be honest, I don't like that one as much. So highly recommend this. Highly recommend the Coach Alley 18. Highly recommend this. So both bags are amazing. I think they're beautiful. This is definitely a 10 out of 10 for first impression. This is a 10 out of 10 because it's functional and I've used my other one a ton. So can definitely say this is a 10 out of 10 bag. There's no flaws in this bag in my opinion. So both of these are really good options. This one would be more of an evening kind of dressy bag. This would be a little bit more casual, but I really love them both. So that is going to conclude this video. I hope that you enjoyed this, that it was valuable to you if you are in the market for a new coach bag. If you have any questions about either of these bags, I would love to answer them in the comment section down below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.